Hello everyone, I am LilyMoo961 and today we continue with the Mama 2018 challenge. We are finishing up the best female group category and we're gonna start with Red Velvet today. The first song I wanna talk about today is a song called I Just and this is a song that I listened to a lot this year. I'm not 100% sure if it came out this year. Um, it may have come out last year. I'm not entirely certain of this, but I did listen to this song a lot this year. So for me, it's one of my favorite songs from this year since I listened to it this year and discovered it this year. Um, lyrically, it is just, it speaks to me. It is a song that really speaks to me, speaks to my heart. It feels like an extremely introspective song. And those are the type of songs that I really needed this year. Songs that make me think about my life and what I'm doing and how I'm processing uh, just some of the bigger changes that have come about in my life. I Just is the type of song that you listen to when you're really having a bad day, like an extremely bad day. It's a calming song and it's also a song that just helps you process your feelings when you're dealing with something. The music and the vocals are dynamic and it's a song you could dance to if you wanted to. The beat is good for that. Like I could picture in my head someone creating like a sort of hip hop style dance for this song. It's doable, it's doable. And it's just a good song for thinking. And uh, lyrically, I do think that it's probably a pre-breakup song, you know, given the lyrical content. You know, it's like that song that you listen to like right before you break up with somebody because it just has that uh, feeling. The lyrics talk about, you know, leaving, going off somewhere, kind of leaving things behind. It has that sentiment and I just love this song. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, I listened to it a lot this year. I love this song. Thank you Red Velvet for making this song because it means a lot to me. I love this song. The next song I'm going to talk about is a brand new release called Really Bad Boy. Not bad boy really bad boy. And I will say that uh, I like this song. I do like this song and I can uh, objectively say that like the vocals on this song are on point. It's just that right now my energy level is kind of low. If I had more time, I would probably not talk about the song right now. I would talk about it when I've had more time to sit with it and more time to uh, you know, appreciate it and allow it to grow on me and really listen to it. Cause there are things about the song that I really like. It's just my energy level is not there. So I'm not like feeling the song right now, if you get what I'm saying. But the vocals are fabulous on this song. And I do like the arrangement. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say for the time being. But when I feel better, I'll probably come back in the future and talk about this song again. There are definitely a lot of good things about it and I do like it. So <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I like this song and I like the video. It's good, it's just my energy isn't there so I can't appreciate it right now. It's, it, it's not sitting in the feels right at this particular moment. The next artist I'll be talking about today is Blackpink and I'm not gonna talk about do 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 because we've kind of covered the gambit on that song and we've established that I like it a lot. So the first song that we're going to talk about today is really and i absolutely love this song for one it suits my energy level right now so that's one reason why i like it because it's it's got lower energy you know it's got just kind of a slow beat kind of like the red velvet song i just it has more of that uh slow beat and so it's a little bit easier for me to connect with it right now seeing that my energy level is kind of low <laughs> and again lisa kills the rap game. She just really stands out to me in these songs. I just, I, I love how fabulous she is. She does a really good job. I just like her flow. She does a great job. Frankly, everyone does a good job on this song. It's just, I notice Lisa the most. And um, in terms of the lyrics, I really love the lyrics for this song, especially this line. Hey, but I don't play with them fakes. Keep it real with me. I'm just like, yes. Because when it comes to love, sometimes sometimes people like to play games when it comes to love. And me in particular, I don't like that. I don't like to play games with my heart. I typically don't really date because I just, I'm not for the playing around with the games. I'm not for dealing with anybody who, uh, 
you know, clearly wants to use me or any of that. I just, I'm not for that. <laughs> So what I like about this song is that it really just asks for, you know, guys to be direct with their feelings, to say, I love you, if that's what that person feels in their heart, to just say it, be real, don't play games. And I respect that message, I like that message, don't play around with love, don't play with people's hearts, don't play with their feelings. You know, if you love someone, tell them. <laughs> And if you don't have feelings for a person, but they have feelings for you, tell them that, you know, be honest. Like you don't have to be mean about it, but just say how you feel because even if it hurts, that person is going to respect you a lot more for being honest. At least that's my opinion. You know, instead of roping them along for days or weeks on end. <laughs> I probably sound like I'm actually dealing with this sort of thing right now and I'm not, I'm just super tired. <laughs> Anyway, this is a good song. I really love the lyrics. I love the arrangement. It's just a really good song. And I encourage all of you to listen to this song because it's really, really good. The next Blackpink song we're gonna talk about is called See You Later. Now, one thing that I love about this song is just the straight up savagery of the lyrics. It's just straight to the point. Like these girls are cutting this guy that has done them wrong, like cutting him to the marrow of his bones. And I'm just like, yes, yes. When a man does you wrong, that is what you should do. <laughs> At least verbally speaking. Like not literally, cause that would be bad and you'd have to go to jail. <laughs> and this song also has a really interesting arrangement because uh, the verses are in one key, but then in the chorus, it like completely changes keys and the vibe completely changes. And you would think that it wouldn't fit, but it actually does. It's really interesting how that works. It's just, it's it's good, it's good. It's, it's unique, it's not the type of thing that you really hear. You don't usually hear like the, well, I mean, sometimes you can hear a key change, but like not a style change too for a chorus and then the verses and everything else be entirely different and it work. <laughs> so this is a really well put together song in that way. Good job, Blackpink. And in this song in particular, everyone really stands out. Like all four of the ladies, they all do a fantastic job. I will say that uh, Jisoo, I think is how you pronounce her name. Like her vocals on this song are just really great. Like really strong. Like I've noticed her singing before, but like today it was just like, wow. She really like, I don't know, she put her guts into it. If you get what I'm saying, she she put like really like deep feelings into her voice while she was singing. And I just really appreciated that. And again, all four of them did a wonderful job on this song. It was just fantastic. I really liked this song and I especially love the savagery. It just, it made me happy. Good job, Blackpink. And the last group I'm going to talk about is the group that I have been voting for up to this point, the fabulous Mama Moo. Oh, I have been waiting to talk about this one. Do you feel the energy is starting to come back to me now? It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> now at another point, I would love to talk about this whole album because I love Yellow Flower. It is such a great album. I love it, I love it, I love it. But since I'm running low on time and Mamamoo has come out with some other songs, uh, they came out with a lot of music this year. So they came out with some other songs and even a new song. So uh, I'm gonna pick one song from the Yellow Flower album to talk about and then I'm gonna choose two new songs that they've released uh, more recently and talk about those. And that will cover <laughs> this category. But I do wanna give a special honorable mention to Hwasa solo called Be Calm. It is my favorite track on Yellow Flower. I'm not gonna talk about it because it doesn't include everybody, but I do love that song. It is my favorite on that album. So the song I'm going to talk about uh, that's my second favorite off of that album is called Rude Boy. And I just love the vibe of this song. It is uh, just the vocals and just how uh, it just has this really nice groove to it, has an R&B feel. 
and just everyone does so well these ladies are so talented like vocally they really do a great job and it's just fabulous I can't really say anything more than that it's just fabulous and I also decided to check out two live performances uh, one that I chose is with uh, all of the members are sitting down and uh, oh I don't know her name but like this uh, she she's blonde and she has longer blonde hair I saw her name earlier but I don't remember um, anywho on the live performances like her vocals in particular just really stood out to me because she you know she's feeling it she just grooves to the music like really strong and they all do but she, she just was giving the most if you get what I'm saying she was giving the most she was feeling it honey and I just I appreciate that so I love this song again it has just really good feel to it has fun lyrics and I like it it's a really good song and it, it's catchy too it'll be in your brain forever after you hear it it'll just come back to you at random and you'll just be like ah, ah, baby, baby, rude boy. <laughs> it's really good it's really good the next song we're going to talk about is a uh, egotistic and um, that acoustic guitar right at the beginning just gave me all the energy I feel that my life has returned to me I was dying and now I am alive again Okay, but let me listen to the rest of the song first because I'm only nine seconds in. I had to stop it and just be like, that acoustic guitar, oh my lord, that was amazing. <laughs> It is post me listening to the song and oh my goodness, this song gave me life. I love this song. The way it is arranged is just fantastic. I love it. It gave me all the energy that I needed to survive through the rest of this challenge. No joke. Cause I seriously needed an energy boost. Cause I'm sure you guys could hear. I was just like really tired through all of this. And even though I was feeling the music I was listening to, I wasn't really like, feeling it like I normally would, but this song is just so energetic and so passionate and just, it's so sexy and just amazing and I love it, 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 I love it. I will say it over and over again, <laughs> like I just cannot. I love this song. I love this song. Oh my gosh. And don't even get me started on the video because I love the video too. Because what I love about it is that like even though it is definitely very sensual, like the feeling that I get from this is that like these ladies are just feeling themselves and they are just like totally owning their sexiness and I'm just like, you know what, you go girls. Like I have no complaints at all. It's just like it has like this, they just have this elegance about them and I'm just like, you know what ladies, just. Just kudos to you, kudos to you. I, I love this. I love everything about this I love. I haven't even looked up the lyrics yet. I need to real fast, but I'm, I'm probably gonna love that too. So I'm just gonna leave it at this. I, I love this song. I love the music video. Just love, 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 love. Like Mama Moo just wins for me, for sure, for sure. Like even if they don't end up winning this category, they win for me. Okay, okay, I, I'm done, I'm done. The vocals. The arrangement, the electric guitar that comes in at the end. I just, oh, I love everything about this song. I can't talk about it enough. I'm gonna go crazy if I just keep talking about it because it is just so good. And I will just repeatedly say how much I love it. Um, if you are not on board with Mama Moo, you need to get on board with Mama Moo today. Today, okay? That's, we're gonna leave it at that. All right, we're gonna go to the next song now. The last song I'm going to talk about came out a week ago. It is called Windflower, and I absolutely love this song too. Uh, it did calm me down, which I was glad about because I was going on full fangirl crazy tirade. And uh, what I like about this song is that the message of the song is just kind of about moving on and how things get better even after you deal with something that was really hurtful, like a breakup or anything else. It's a song about dealing with regrets and how it gets better over time. You don't think about um, the mistakes or the losses as much as you used to when you get to a place where you feel happy again and when you find new love or find a new job or a new anything really you just find something new to cheer you up again and to give you a sense of peace again and that's what I really like about this song it gives that sense of 
peace, that sense of, you know, even if things are bad now, things are better, and there are other people who are dealing with the same things as you. And, you know, if you band together, you'll get through them together. The song is arranged really nicely. The vocals, of course, are on point because it's Mamamoo and they slay when it comes to the vocals. Uh, and this is just my opinion, but I feel that Mamamoo probably has the best vocals out of the female groups that are nominated. And I would say that Red Velvet is probably a close second, but Mamamoo is definitely the best because my goodness, they be fabulous. And one last thing that I really love about Mamamoo in particular is that like they, they just have this energy about them that just seems real, if you get what I mean. They just, they feel like people that you could just encounter on the street and have a conversation with, have fun in the moment, and then both of y'all would just go about your business. And it's just really nice to see that. They have this energy where it's just like, you know, these are like my sisters all of a sudden. I would just see them on the street and be like, hey girl, how you doing? And I really appreciate artists who can bring that sense of realness to the table because, you know, it's not an easy thing to convey through music or even through music videos because there is some level of acting that has to go into that sort of thing. At the same time though, I just get this sense that they're really genuine and I appreciate that because it helps in the situation where artists usually end up kind of like in glass boxes and, you know, having to live up to these unrealistic expectations. and. Mama Moo doesn't really do that. They kind of do their own thing and that's really cool and I appreciate that and I'm glad that they're getting recognition for that and they should because they're really, really cool. And with that said, I believe we're done with this category and obviously my choice is Mama Moo. <laughs> the same as it was from the beginning. I kind of had a feeling that that was what was going to happen because I really enjoyed Mama Moo's music a lot this year and the new songs that I heard today just blew me away, especially Egotistic. I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, don't even get me started again, because I will go crazy. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is all for today. Next time, we will talk about the male groups. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Might be a bloodbath, too. Because <laughs> I know how you fangirls get, because I'm one of you. <laughs> y'all might go crazy on me. Anyway, God bless you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.